key crossbench Senator Jackie Lambie says she wants people doing it tough in regional communities to get immediate tax relief, indicating she's close to supporting the Coalition's income tax cut plan. We'll go live now to political reporter James O'Doherty. James, the sticking point's that third and final stage. Jackie Lambie's position does seem to be uh, similar to Labor's position, Annalise and Kieran, insofar as that she wants stages one and two of the tax cut plan to pass immediately, but she has reservations about the third and final stage of the tax plan. That would see the 32.5 cent tax rate abolished and everyone earning between $45,000 and $200,000 earn a pay the same amount of income tax. She recognises, though, she says that people in rural and regional communities are doing it tough and they need immediate support. So I would like to be able to see these people get their tax cuts, uh, certainly by the end of next week. So that means that you would be inclined to pass these things so that people in those communities can get tax cuts? You know, I'm still talking about whether it's stage one and two we put through. I'm doing that with Labor and I'm doing that with Liberal, uh, whether we hold off for those stage three. So I'm still sitting on that line. But I certainly would like to see... Uh, those, the others, uh, certainly stage one and two, um, put through. So it does seem that Jackie Lambie is close to getting on board with the government's tax cut plan when it goes to the Senate on Thursday. It will go to a vote and be finalised before the end of the week. Matthias Cormann putting the pressure on Labor, saying that the economic stimulus from this tax package would be immediate when it passes. As soon as uh, the tax refunds uh, hit the economy, you'll expect that to have an effect on consumption and we'll be reviewing the economic data you know, over the months ahead and there'll be an update in terms of our assessment of the economy and our half yearly budget update as we usually do. That we need to get more money into the hands of more workers sooner and circulating through this floundering economy. Uh, Labor's amendments in the House last night were all about bringing forward part of stage two of the tax cuts, supporting stage one uh, and not saddling the budget with a $95 billion tax cut, which wouldn't come in for another five years. While Labor still hasn't finalised what it will do if the government rejects its amendments in the Senate, this after the Labor Party waived the bill through the lower house, it does now seem that the coalition is getting closer to passing its tax cut bill with the crossbench. Annalise, Kieran.